y'all let's just take a moment for this just i gotta get myself together just take a moment because sometimes when you find deals like this one that i'm about to show you, you just gotta take a moment <laughs> Everybody, this is Audrey also known as Noble Strength and welcome to my channel and yes I have a mid-fall thrift haul for you guys I did not think I would be back this soon but I could not just stay away from the thrift stores I tried but I couldn't I just love thrifting I guess you can call me a thrift addict it's just something about thrifting sorting through things and finding the gems uh, within things that other people have discarded can you imagine discarding something and then you being the one sifting through that and finding something a truly gem sometimes i think that's how um you know life is you know people just often don't value things that are very useful but and then we consume a lot too and just throw away stuff so i like helping out the environment and i like you know saving money and looking nice knowing that i have not gone in debt to do it so that's why i love thrifting if you're new to my channel and you like thrifting too please go ahead and like and subscribe now let's jump into this haul we're going to start with the non-clothing items first i have two bags and this is a collective haul i went some of everywhere i went to the flea market the goodwill everywhere so this first bag is a this is a um, market bag it's like a straw bag i love these type bags for the summer and this one was new with tags i paid ten dollars for it it's all natural materials it does have the leather trim on it and um i like that it tells you how you can reshape this it says very easy to reshape just submerge in water and shape and let dry this is from africanmarketbaskets.com i'll leave the link below it's a fair trade company and they support locals in uh, Ghana to help them to make money and uh, just make a living so I love these bags just like I say for summer they're quick to just throw things into they're very lightweight and I love them they're like made from sustainable materials so love that ten dollars next bag is a sharif bag this is a vintage bag so if you're into vintage bags you know about sharif this is like very 80s like it's a leather bag but i love the little bow detailing the way they did things back then was just so unique and cool and this just screams 80s but it it also is like classic crescent shape which i love it's branded with sharif on the pull tag don't know which way it is but you have that and then what I love about the 80s too a lot of things were made in the USA back then and so here's the gold plate tag on the inside with Sharif and made in the USA it has a zip pocket it is fully lined with like a vinyl type lining but very roomy and I love this this the color is perfect for the fall and winter so I got this bag for $3.60 at Goodwill. And then I got some jewelry. And I love, you know, there's this big craze now online where people buy these bags of jewelry and then they sort through them and find them. I don't like the really, really big bags. I've never purchased them. I just don't like the idea of getting a bunch of junk and then having to sort through it. I prefer it. It's smaller and I can kind of spread it out and see what's in it. So I got five pieces of earrings, vintage earrings, and if I had bought these uh, individually because they were priced individually before, I would have paid $10.50, but instead I got five pair for $3.50. So let's take a quick look at what I got. Some button style gold earrings, love the detailings on those. Um, and then I got these crared earrings, those are cute. I got these little hang earrings. Let's unravel those. So I got those. And then next I got, these are my two favorite. I'm saving the best for last. I got these black and cream and gold ones, which I think are awesome. And then I got these little X's. I just think these brush gold X's are just adorable. So those are all the five pieces of earrings that I got in this $3.50 bag. So next time you're out thrifting, check those 
out. Uh, and then I also got this cute little ring at the same place where I got that um, basket from, the basket bag. So I just thought that was very kind of Mexican motif with the painted flower on the wooden ring. So I got that. And then I got this wonderful tie bracelet. It's kind of like very bohemian uh, feel. So you have the leather tie pull by shell on a leather band which is really cute um the only thing i think i'm gonna trim uh these down so that when i tie them the ties don't hang so long but other than that i love this bracelet so i got that and those are my non no i take that back i have one more thing to show you i was about to say that was it but i got a pair of boots guys i'm gonna have to say this is my best out of this entire haul you know last year i did a haul where i called it the boot alicious haul but i have i've since sold um two of those boots and so i am replacing with these oh my goodness these are a gem they have absolutely no scuffing these look practically new i know they have been worn just a little bit by looking at the heel but the leather on this is just immaculate love this boot i like the heel it's a little chunky but not too chunky i like a more pointy roundy toe boot and this is all leather um and this is by aldo so all leather and if I had purchased these brand new from Aldo, these would have been like 200 and something dollars. I got them for $12.99. So, and I like the fact that there's no extra detailing on these boots. So you can wear them with anything. You don't have to worry about anything clashing. They're classic black. I could wear these with skirts, with jeans. So I'm looking forward to rocking those. So those are the non-clothing items I got. So we're going to jump into the clothing items and then I'm going to do a try on for you. If you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. Comment below. You know I love hearing from you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And I'm going to do a quick closet tour for those who are new because I had some people asking, what do I do with all these things that I thrift? How do I store them? I store them in my closet. Uh, I'll leave a playlist of my closet videos below so you can check those out because I do purge frequently and I recorded how I do that so that might be helpful to you but let's go ahead and do this quick tour and jump into the clothes so stay tuned all right quick tour on the back of the door you can see I have some purses that I have collected some crossbody bags and some shorter bags and then in my closet uh, those of you who've been with me a long time know I love using these Theralite boxes that you can get from Walmart for little or nothing, like 99 cents or 97 cents. So I got those. I'm using um, these um, Space Saver hangers, also gotten from Walmart, and they just help with, you know, space. You can push more together. If I wanted to slide these together, I would have a lot more room, but I like mine kind of spaced out. But just so you can see how these space saver hangers save you a lot of space. Look how much room. But so I do use those and um, that's pretty much it. So my closet is layered in two layers. So that's like well, the shoes up there, this is the next layer for tops, and then the next layer down here for bottoms, and it just goes all in some jackets as well. Uh, on this side, I have more shoes, handbags. I have a couple of handbags in the corner there. Um, I use every square inch of my closet, so I have this little shoe cubby. So I have purses on top of the shoe cubby, purses hanging from this rod. Then I have shoes in this cubby here. I do have shoes below in Sterilite boxes, as you can see. Um, and then I have some shoes in these little cubbies here, along with some clutch bags. And then in this cubby container, I do have some more bags as well. And then longer hanging items here. So that's every square inch of my closet. That is how I store. I hope that gives you an overall tour i don't have things under my bed or anywhere else um so that's pretty much it let's jump into this haul 
All right, let's jump into this clothing haul. I'm gonna try to make this quick. I don't want this video to be too long, but first I got this pleated skirt. It's a vintage skirt, elastic waist. And let me see if I can find the brand for you guys because I know people love to know about brands. This is called um, Andrea Gale. Andrea Gale, a division of the Leslie Fay Company is what it says. But you know I'm into like ethnic type prints. And so that's what kind of what grabbed me. It kind of has this aboriginal type print on it. And I just love that. So I just thought this would be cool to kind of rock since it's kind of delicate and I love the pleating with like a leather jacket uh, and some boots maybe just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. So I like pairing modern stuff with vintage things. And then I got this Talbot's jacket and I just love this jacket. It has the three buttons and it's got that kind of plaid like hound's tooth print in it. This is a lightweight jacket. It's made of silk and it does have a full lining. And like I say, this is a Talbot's brand jacket. I'm thinking that this would be kind of a transitional type jacket so I could wear it now with it being fall and maybe do an early spring. I said, and I did get a lot of things that were new with tags. So um, I'm gonna show those to you. Uh, I got this nice Carol Little. I know y'all have heard of Carol Little. Still have the tags on it. So it looks like it's kind of vintage though, even though it has the tags on it, like it might be like from the 90s or something, but that was the original price, 98, marked down to 73. And it's one of those broomstick skirts where you like twist it. And weren't those like really popular in the early 90s, I believe? But I just love this color. I like the length of it. So this will be really cute to rock all year round. Just do some layering. You could do uh, leggings under this with boots and layer. So yeah. Then I got this Forever 21 faux leather jacket. I love this kind of biker racer type jacket. Just really cute. I like the color on it. I wanted something different. Something I purposely got this to wear with this skirt. So I'm hoping that's going to be a really cool look to uh, rock. And I paid, I think, $7 for that. Oh, and the skirt was uh, $4.99. Then I went to, I completely forgot, these people were having a yard sale, and I got it. I was just driving down the street, I saw the sign, it looks like they were packing up. I turned in there, and I was like, are y'all packing up? She's like, yeah, but you can come by. So I got this uh, Ralph Lauren dress. I just love that little chain detailing and the ruching here on it. Um, I love this. I think it's just kind of classic in its shape for you're not going to even believe how much I paid for this. One dollar. One dollar for this Ralph Lauren dress. I think because they were packing up, she was just trying to get rid of stuff. Then at that same yard sale, I got this nice skirt for two bucks. This is a Kato's skirt, but it's got the faux leather trim. It's a nice kind of midi length, and it's got a little split in the front. I just thought that was really cute. Oh, now... Y'all, let's just take a moment for this. Just, I gotta get myself together. Just take a moment, cause sometimes when you find deals like this one that I'm about to show you, you just gotta. It's take not a even moment. about the brand, cause it's no special brand. It's about the cut and the fit of this dress. And when I tried it on, it fit so perfectly, guys. And I just love it. So, it is this, and it's new with tags this New York and Company dress. Look at the neckline on that, that kind of halter type dress. And it just, oh, just really emphasizes the shoulder. I love how high up it comes. It's got that exposed zipper in the back. And I like where the waist is up high and it's got a long length to it. It comes below the knee. Very classy, very elegant, very stylish. Ugh, loving this. Six dollars, new at tags, New York and Company. All right, next I got this vintage jacket. Y'all, I love y'all. Thank y'all for you know just uh, sharing this moment with me because if you're a thrifter like me, you know what I'm talking about. This jacket right here. 
It is a vintage jacket, but look at the collar on this, guys. Look at that beading detail, that intricate work. Look at the, even the button has that detailing. There's a little bit of like loose threading coming off, but that is not that noticeable. I can cut that off, but oh, it's kind of got that tuxedo type feel. Oh my goodness. And this is called Beachy, I believe. Florine, uh, Waitser, Waitser, I'm not sure, but just look at that black, just nice, elegant, oh my goodness, love that. Okay, so the next jacket I got is an Ann Taylor jacket. This is just so stunning. I love that zebra print, and I'm just thinking red underneath this, like with a red pencil skirt and a black turtleneck. Oh my goodness, I just like it. It's just so classic in its cut. So I think I paid $7 for that and $7 for that one too, I believe. This dress was $6. This is new with tags. This is an Eva, Evan Pacone. And here's the tag, it still had on it. I think this is probably a uh, 90s or early 2000s address but six dollars classic black you can't go wrong and then last but not least look at this bling bling hello this is a vince camuto this is perfect for spring this is what i mean by i thrift for all seasons no matter I don't thrift for the current season because this is going to be perfect for next spring and summer. I just got to find the perfect shoe because you just can't wear any kind of shoe with this type of dress. You got to find the perfect shoe. Any suggestions? Let me know in the comments below. But I love this. That is my clothing finds, guys. Now I'm going to do a try on. Thank you for stay, sticking with me in this long haul. And I'll be right back.
Thank you so much for watching. I forgot to record an ending to this video, but I appreciate you watching. I enjoyed doing this haul as I always do. Let me know what you've thrifted lately and what is your favorite fall item to wear? Boots, jackets, coats, turtlenecks. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And as always, remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.